Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June the 22nd of 2021. Well, it is titled HD 163296 jets from a star in formation. So what do we see here? Well, this is a star known by its catalog designation of HD 163296. And it shows a newly forming star. Now we're looking at this in actually in two wavelengths and that is looking at radio waves the central portion with the disk there is looking in radio waves from the Atacama large millimeter of array in Chile. So that is looking at the radio portion. And it's actually we see a number of gaps there. And one of the things we think we are seeing is a solar system in the process of formation. Over the last few decades, it, we have gained more and more evidence that planetary systems are very common in the universe. Now that's something we've suspected for a long time. But it's only been recently that we've been able to detect of things like this and actual extra solar planets, as such as the 4000 or so that are now known to exist around other stars. So the more we study these, the more extrasolar planets we begin to find. And these gaps may be created by planets in the process of formation around the star. Now in the visible light taken by the very large telescope also in Chile uh, shows the jets of material being expelled outward from the star. Now we see this quite often in astronomy jets of material are quite common on different scales, including the stellar scale, but we also see them on galactic scales as well, uh, with very large things like quasars also showing jets of material being spiraled out and large black holes also spiraling jets of material. So it seems to be a common process as material is accreting in and a disk around a forming object or around a central object that material can get pushed out at very high speeds perpendicular to that disk. Now you don't quite get the feel for that here because we're looking at a two dimensional image. But if you were to see this in three dimensions, you would see the disk in one direction, and the jets going directly up or down from that disk. So that seems to be a very common process when objects like this when material is swirling around a central object whether it be a forming star as we look at here, or an, a black hole or, uh, or a supermassive black hole at the center of a quasar. Now the jets might be confined by things like magnetic fields which co which collate them and keep them going in one specific direction. So because there's more material in the disk, they don't go off in that direction. But the jets will then or, direct around possibly the magnetic field pushing them out in two opposite directions perpendicular to the disk. So here we're starting to get looks at star systems in the process of formation and help us be able to learn more about not only how the jets work on this scale but on much larger scales as well by being able to look at them in multiple situations but being able to better understand the methods of planetary formation which just a few decades ago we only had one planetary system to study and that was our own. Now we have thousands of them which helps us get a much better understanding of the process. So that was our picture of the day for June the 22nd of 2021. It was titled HD 163296 jets from a star in formation. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be star formation the movie. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.